Hello techies, welcome to IT Tech Solution. Uh, so today uh, in this video, we will see uh, how we can integrate uh, chat GPT uh, into our Python codes and create a simple chatbot out of it. Uh, so these days you might have already heard uh, chat GPT became uh, extremely popular uh, since uh, when it was released. Uh, and now uh, many people are talking about chat GPT and then doing some automation using chat GPT So in this video, I will tell you two ways uh, in which uh, we can uh, We can just uh, uh, connect to open AI API and leverage the power of chat GPT and give some uh, input as a text and let's see what uh, results we get out of it. So this is, um, if you can see uh, on my screen right now, I have this open AI website opened uh, where uh, we have some options here. Uh, from this, you can go to the docs, okay? And you will get some um, a quick start guide here. Okay, we'll follow this guide. Apart from that, that you need to create a secret key so to connect to any api right we have seen that we need secret access key so we'll have to create a secret access key uh, that we will be using uh, while connecting to open ai uh, api okay so here you just have to create uh, uh, an account in open ai platform uh, using this api i will just log in once you provide your email id and password you will be able to uh, log into open ai uh, website so i'll choose uh, open api uh, as as my platform and here what you will have to do once you are uh, logged in uh, to open ai uh, platform you just need to go to this section right here we have bunch of options from that you just need to choose api keys and you just have to create uh, a new uh, API key, give it a name and create a secret key. Uh, it will create a secret key. You just need to copy and keep it safe because once you close this pop-up window, you will not be able to again uh, get uh, the secret uh, key. Okay, so keep it safe. Uh, once that is done, you will see that that secret uh, key is already created uh, and this we can use uh, to connect to the API okay so this is a first prerequisite you'll have to perform this once that is done uh, we will go to the documentation from uh, its main website you will see <clears throat> under the api uh, drop down right there we have docs you just have to click on this docs okay and from this docs you can go to quick start uh, it will uh, give you the option to choose a language curl python node.js so we'll go with python right uh, if in this uh, documentation if you just read it through you will see that open ai api provides a simple interface for developers to create an intelligence layer in their applications so using open ai api we can connect uh, to uh, to the chat gpt server okay and there we can provide uh, text inputs uh, text inputs uh, to chat gpt and it gives uh, it is a generative ai right so text based generative ai so that will give us a response uh, which is very much you know human like response it's not like a google search it will form its own answers and it will provide that that answer to us here you can see first thing install python yes that is uh, the basic requirement we are doing going to code in python so we need the python code for that um apart from that you need to set up this is optional i haven't uh, set up the virtual environments by the way if you want to set up a virtual environment i have already done a video on this you can just uh, look at that and set that up and then activate the virtual environment but for now it's not needed optional uh, uh, install uh, the open ai python library this we need so we just need to um, uh, pip install and open ai so this is the python package for open ai we have to install it so we'll go here and we'll just say pip install open ai okay so i have already installed it so for me it will be a requirement already satisfied once this is installed uh, we can then use this um, uh, api or use this uh, package to connect to open ai api now next thing is set up your api key i have already shown that uh, we can uh, create this secret key uh, we need this 
set up api for single project so, so it's okay so we either of one we can do uh, sending your first api request so here they have given the sample code but this sample code is not uh, kind of in a format of a chatbot i have converted this code uh, into a chatbot where we can continuously post some questions and it will answer me back with the response so this is one time run which code they have given so i have just converted this into a continuous uh, online kind of uh, programming using while loop right so we'll see that code uh, in a moment so this is the code uh, but there are two ways to do this one is uh, using the open ai uh, open ai um, a package uh, or, or open ai api another one is we can also do it via http request and connect to open ai we'll see both the options uh, one by one uh, from open ai uh, we just we are importing the open ai package and uh, from dot env i am just uh, uh, importing the load dot env this is just uh, to read the secret key uh, which I have uh, stored in an environment variable okay we can hard code here in the code itself but that is not normally a good practice so better we can uh, provide that in into a env.env .env file uh, in a key and value uh, way and we will be um, uh, reading that uh, in here and creating a client out, out of it. So by default, if we don't give any path or uh, anything here, right, it will by default search for .env file and it will take uh, uh, the secret key into here and uh, it will then uh, create a client from that. Uh, if we are saving this .env or creating .env in some another folder other than the root folder, then we will have to provide, uh, we have to give os.environ.get you know that function that uh, a way of reading the value from uh, environment variable will have to give but for now keeping it empty will default it to this env and then the code that i have just uh, changed a little bit is uh, i have put uh, the call to this api inside a while loop so that until unless we break that or kill that loop right it will still uh, continue with the ongoing infinite loop and we can keep on asking questions and we'll uh, receive the response so everything i have just put it under the uh, while loop okay and then this is the user input uh, whenever we provide an input i have just given a header of you uh, so that we can identify this is us asking the question and to break it if whenever i press uh, or enter exit it will break from this loop and then this is the response completion and this is the api call which i am making to uh, open uh, ai api so here you can see client uh, the client that got created here with open ai package or open ai api and i am providing uh, 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 providing the secret key even though you don't see any secret key but by default it will be coming here and reading it so uh, with that secret key it will be connecting to the api and create it will create a client uh, from that okay using that client then uh, the chat dot chat and dot completions is the um, is the sub sub directory or the sub modules that we need to call and then dot create okay uh, inside that we are providing this model uh, this model is nothing but uh, the engine that we'll be using we call, we can call it as a in in generative ai they call it as a model and then this is a message list okay in this message list we are passing user input if you see a role as a user and then content i'm passing user input okay and first one is just a system role you can ignore it for now uh, we are more concerned about uh, the user role and the content so content whatever we'll be posting here as a question it will be passed uh, to this model uh, via this client and we'll get a response in completion uh, and then from the completion we will have to extract the response so uh, it it receives uh, it it gives us the response in a mixed uh, metadata uh, so i'm just extracting uh, the proper response from that metadata so it will be in completion and under completion it will be a choices choices and then the first um, uh, index i'll be taking the zeroth index that is the first element and from there i'll be extracting the message and the, the content of that message so this way uh, we can extract the response from it 
Now let's uh, just execute this code and see how ChatGPT gives the response to our questions. I'll just execute this code. So here is the input that I have to give. Okay, so we'll just say, we'll ask some question to uh, ChatGPT and let's see what answer it provides to us. I will ask uh, a technical question like what are the, what are the risks uh, involved with AI. Okay, let's see what answer it uh, gives back to us. Uh, so uh, let's see uh, in 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 the realm of AI, where algorithms dance and codes, identity privacy. So these are the risks, right? Private privacy. Another is bias. Okay, ethics, security, and lastly, uh, we must not forget the human touch and all. So it is giving us the results directly from as we get it from Chat GPT, right? Uh, maybe we can ask um, uh, some other question as well and just check it whether uh, it is still giving us the correct or satisfactory responses or not. Um, uh, what is generative AI? Let's see the response. Okay, so the answer that it has again uh, given is uh, what is generative AI is all these things, right? It has explained like what is the generative AI. So it is working fine, right? It is giving us the results and uh, the expected results. Uh, so the next way that I was talking about is uh, is a similar approach. But here instead of um, here we were creating a client and then using this uh, completions and then dot create right we were connecting to chat GPT uh, chat 3.5 turbo. Th this is a little different here. Uh, here the first part is still uh, I would say is same where we are creating a while loop and then we are calling maybe we are uh, uh, calling this uh, open AI but the way that we call or we connect to uh, the open AI API is is little different here we are using HTTPS post requests so if you see in this co code we are using uh, requests API and in request API we are doing a post okay post and then host name we are providing where we want to post this uh, request and then a uh, header and the data so here data is nothing but the question that will be asking and headers headers we have to provide uh, in this way the content type is application slash json and authorization right in 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 authorization then we have to pass our secret key okay once we provide that authorization and in data we have uh, messages right and same way in user message we'll be passing user input in content Okay, so this way we can uh, again uh, call uh, same uh, turbo uh, 3.5 GPT 3.5 and get the responses. So we can see here. I'll just do exit from my previous run clear the screen and same thing. I'll just run this code now uh, and I'll, I'll provide my input. Uh, uh, I would say please explain uh, me uh, generative AI in brief okay let's see the response for this and here you can see the result right generative AI refers to an area of artificial intelligence and all those things so it has explained me very nicely so this way uh, we can uh, connect to APIs uh, open API in both the ways and we can uh, make use of uh, the chat GPT model I hope this was useful and you like this video. If so, please subscribe to the channel. I'll be uh, continuing posting some or the other informative videos in future also uh, so that you don't miss it. Please subscribe. Uh, I'll see you in the next video. Until then, bye-bye.